Hey guys, you're watching Keep Street Up, and today I'm going to do my twist on the viral TikTok feta pasta, and you are going to love this one. It's kind of similar, it uses the same concept, but it has some really awesome ingredients, and it is to die for. I cannot wait to dig into it later. So let's get started with coating our bottom of our pan with a little bit of olive oil, just a couple drizzles right over the bottom. We're then going to add two containers. They're the, kind of the typical container size that you would get at the food store of a cherry tomato or a grape tomato. If you could get one big one, then you don't need to use two. After that, you're going to add about eight to 10 garlic cloves. You can always take that down if you're not a garlic person, but I would disagree with you because I am a garlic person. And then we're going to add about a cup and a half of a diced up pancetta. Pancetta does need to be cooked, but since we're cooking it in the pan, you don't have to cook it ahead of time. So just dump it on in. And trust me, that's the fun part. This pasta gets really fun with that addition. We're also gonna add in a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, a tiny bit of salt at this point, and then some black pepper. You're then gonna drizzle all of your ingredients with a tiny bit more olive oil, just drizzle it over top, and then toss it together directly in your pan. This is why this recipe is so fun and why I personally think it went viral is because it's so easy. You could just mix it all in one pan like this, put on your pasta and call it a day. So, I mean, who doesn't like that? <laughs> and then the last step, and if you are expecting feta, you are in for a surprise because in Cape Straight Up's TikTok pasta, we use burrata and it is amazing. It takes this recipe to a whole nother level. So make some room in there from your veggies. Make sure there's a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan and place your burrata right in the center. Last step, tiny bit of olive oil over the burrata. And you're putting this into a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. At that time, it is a great point to put on your pasta, boil it up as directed and get ready to mix it in. Once it's ready, strain it, dump it in, and dig in. Mix, mix good. Take all this yumminess in, because trust me, you are going to love it. Make sure to subscribe to Keep Straight Up for more recipes like this every week. Find me on Instagram, Keep Straight Up Cooking, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.